I'm Susan Ronald, and I want to tell you a bit about myself and my books. Because history's always been my love, and I've always written about history, and always, even in, in my work as a corporate finance advisor or investment banker, I always involved, involved history in some way. In Hitler's Art Thief, I thought that the best way to understand Hildebrand Gerlit, who was Hitler's art thief, was to go back to his roots, the family roots, who they were, what it was like to grow up in Germany prior to the First World War. Anybody born in 1895 had to serve in two world wars in Germany. Well, to understand how he became Hildebrand Gerlit in World War II, it was essential to go back to World War I. It was essential that I read 232 family letters uh, to understand the father of Hildebrand and how he influenced the, the son and how he influenced all sorts of people in Germany. His father was a powerful man in cultural terms in Germany. So this, this was a family you needed to understand as a complete family, not just as one man who suddenly becomes Hitler's art thief. This is when I was an investment banker. And I saw in this huge vault the corner of a painting, and it had the letters R-L-I-T-T -T printed beneath it. And I said to the bank manager, oh, um, is that a Louis Gerlitt painting? And he went, no! Slammed the, this, you know, these sliding um, walls that have paintings on them. Slams it shut. And then later at lunch, the bank manager had a lot of wine and his tongue got loosened and he'd obviously been talked to by his client. And then he started to tell me the story of Hildebrand Gerlitt and that, yes, that was part of the Gerlitt collection. I took that as my first project to my agent, but I wrote it as fiction. And he read the book and he said, eh, everybody's a bit sick and tired about, you know, German art thieves and Nazis because uh, it's all been done. And so I parked it. He was no longer my agent when the truth came out finally in 2013. And he writes me a one-liner. I'm very sorry I said no to your idea, for, period. I have 15 editors interested. Are you interested? I went to probably 15 different archives in six different countries investigating it because I felt that that was the only way to understand it better. Um, it's one thing to visit archives. It's quite another thing to have real life experience be the thing behind the book.